Hi, I'm Jill Rodriguez, personal trainer with Mercola.com. In today's video, I'm going to give you a resistance band workout. Resistance bands have many benefits, some of which are variety. You can do hundreds of different exercises with them. They're flexible, meaning you can adjust your resistance based on your exercise. And they're very simple. You can take them with you on the road when you're traveling, do them in your home, or even outside at a park. So now that you know the benefits, let's get started. For the bicep circuit, you're going to start in a seated position. The band is underneath the middle of my foot, and you're going to hold onto the handles with a nice proud chest. You're going to pull the handles up to the shoulders and complete your repetitions. For variety, you can hold it up, you can hold it to the middle or down, you can add some pulses or isometric holds and add those to your seated bicep curl. Next, you can do bicep curl standing, same proud chest, also pulling the handles to the shoulders, and do your bicep curls. Add that isometric hold, add the pulses, and complete your repetitions. You can also do a version where you're slightly bent over and add a crossover to the bicep curl for a little variation. And then if you're more advanced and you need some good resistance, put both handles in one hand. Again, soft bend those knees, proud chest as always, and you're going to pull one hand up to the shoulder for the single arm bicep curl. For the band-resisted push-up, you're going to take the band behind your back and pull it just underneath your armpits. Then you place your hands down. I'm going to stay at my knees because your first one is going to be the modified push-up. Bring your chest to the floor and you feel the resistance from your band. Chest to the floor and push away. Now if you can do a full push-up, come to the toes and you can feel the resistance of the band exactly the same way. Down and up. The reverse fly is an exercise for your postural muscles. Start by holding your band, palms down, and pull it apart. If you find you need more resistance when you start pulling it apart, go ahead and loop it around your hands, making more resistance, and pull it apart. Now these are your repetitions, but if you want to make it a bit more challenging, you can pulse it, give it about five pulses, and then also give it a hold at the end, maybe hold for 10 seconds, and then slowly bring it in. For the seated back extension, I have the band underneath my feet, my hands are going to stay stationary up by my shoulders. And because this is a postural exercise, you want to pull the shoulder blades back behind you and lean forward. Keep those hands in place and then come on up. You should feel the resistance when you come up. Coming forward, bracing your abdominals and pulling yourself up. Nice proud chest, of course. Leaning forward and up for the back extension. For the shoulder circuit, you're going to begin with the band underneath your feet, shoulder width apart, soft bend in your knees, your shoulders are back, chest is lifted, your belly button's nice and tight, and you're going to start with your front raise with your wrists straight, lifting straight out in front of you, no higher than your shoulders. Your next exercise is going to be the lateral raise, where you raise the arms up to your sides. Your third shoulder exercise will be the overhead press, where you raise your arms straight up overhead. And then your final exercise, you're going to create more resistance by crossing the band in front. And you're going to bring the wrists to your chin. Lift them and lower them. For the one-armed circuit, you're going to start with your arm extended forward you're going to pull the elbow back, and we're going to do an external rotation for the shoulder. So you want to keep that elbow in one spot as you pull with a straight wrist away from the anchor point. Moving on from here, we're going to go into a row. So we're going to take that same leg back and start with a high row with the elbow high. My palm is facing to the ground, and then I'm going to turn the, palm, the thumb up and do a low row with my elbow low. Then we can turn to the side and do an external rotation to the side. 
We'll pull it across the body, locking your elbow in place at your side. An external rotation. And then finally, you can do a reverse fly. This is excellent for your posture. Pull it across the chest and back in front of the shoulders. Across the chest and back in front of the shoulders. For the leg circuit, you're going to start with the band underneath one foot. You're going to pull both hands just underneath your chin. And just like always with a soft bend in your knees, proud chest, tight belly, you're going to take a medium step back, lower your knee, and then return to the beginning position. Take a step back, return, step back, and return. Then you're going to move into a squat. So you want to take your feet on the band still, about shoulder width apart, hands at your sides, just in front of your shoulders, and you're going to do that imaginary seat back into your chair and stand. Have a seat and stand. The band creates the resistance for you. Then moving on to the sumo deadlift, you're going to take a wider stance and make sure that your band is right in the middle of your shoes. Your toes are pointed outward slightly. You've got your hands in a nice grip on the band. Shoulders are back. You're going to sit down with the knees out and stand up. And feel the resistance with the band as you stand up. The lateral torso rotation is an excellent core exercise. Start by interlacing your hands together and punch your arms forward. From here, you're going to pivot and come to the side, initiating the movement with straight arms. So you get a nice rotation in your core. A good variation to this is to make small pulses while keeping your body facing forward. And then you can also change up the tempo by going slowly and back to the original position. Slow and return slow. I hope you enjoyed the simplicity and variation of the resistance band workout. See you next time.